In this video, I quickly review how we can upload an external data set to BigQuery, especially if the size of our data set is a little large. Um, first thing we have to do is that we go to the BigQuery um, interface. Um, so once we're here, I'm going to close all these. First thing we got to do is that we're going to select a project. I already selected one, but um, for the sake of this video, I can just create a new one. I'll just call this demo one. So I'll wait for this to be created. It did not create. Let's. I'll just go to the, my first project, um, but feel free to create any one. Um, probably the pro there was a problem with the name demo it actually has to be all lowercase so in fact I can just create a new one I can just say demo one um, that's good it cannot be changed all right okay so once I have this created I can just go to demo one um, once you create it it must be pinned to the side let me just search for it uh, okay once you have the project created you go to demo one now here we need to add um, a data set so once what uh, first thing I'm just gonna create a data set and in this specific data set um, we are going to input data about yellow cabs um, NYC data um, the location will be default um, you don't need to change any of these so you just create a data set once a data set is created, you can go to a data set and you start creating the tables. Now, in order to create the tables, now there are multiple options. Um, if the data set was not that big, what you can do is that you can upload the file in your Google Drive, the Google Drive that's associated, um, same drive as uh, that you're using for big data platform. You basically go to the drive and you drop the URL of um, the file. It could be in any of these formats. It's either drive.google and open ID, you provide the ID, or it, if it's um, a Google Sheet, you can provide the link to the Google Sheet. And once you upload it, you can go through the procedure. In this specific example, the data set um, dropping is of quite some size so I'm going to use Google Cloud Storage to upload this data okay so let's see how we can do it um, basically you can find uh, Google Cloud Storage uh, from the Google platform I can just type in storage here and I should be able to get it once you get to the storage you create a new bucket and I'm gonna give the bucket a new name I'm just gonna call it yellow cab um, again is cannot be it's not case sensitive so it cannot have any um, capital letters uh, it can have some numbers but I'm just gonna stick to this so uh, continue multiple regions if you can specify the region it's going to be faster but then it's gonna be more latency if you want to access from other places this is not a big deal just go continue we choose a standard and then we do uniform and don't change any of the default settings so you just go it will create um, now we're in the yellow cap bucket so in the yellow cap bucket now we want to upload files so I have already downloaded the data for January 20 um, 2020 uh, for the yellow cap trip um, but I'm assuming that you're going to uh, upload any data that you would like to load onto Google BigQuery so we'll give it a minute for this data set to go through
it's um, I think it's 500 megabytes so it takes a little bit once that's in it should upload here so I can click on this data set and um, I can see that the data set is uploaded and that's the size of a data set now one thing I forgot to emphasize is that when you're in the Google Cloud Storage you must be selecting the same project um, so if I'm collecting another project, my data file is not going to show. So I made sure that uh, it's just in the same bucket, in the same project. Now I go back to the same project. We're trying to now upload this file. So we're in a yellow cap demo. Again, yellow cap. I'm going to create a table from cloud storage yellow cap you select the data file that you have um, once you have the table you press OK and automatically it will specify the format of the file so you don't need to change that the projects already selected I'm gonna choose external table here What's the name of the table? You can also select native over there. For this specific data, it's data about January 2020, right? You can give whatever name that will help you understand what kind of data you're storing in there. I'm going to try to avoid having um, capital letters here. In, once you get to the schema, use um, auto detect because we want Google to pick up the schema. Um, by itself, so we do a creating table. It might take a few seconds, and once that data is created, you can go to the table. So now, if I'm looking at the schema, it looks like all the records exist here already. You might not be able to see the preview yet because I think Google is still processing this data. But let's run a query. So just select all. From this data file, it run the query, and you see that your data set has been uploaded, and you can see that the values appear to be properly set. So you can follow the process and add additional data tables to the sheet you created using the storage that you have on the cloud uh, storage platform.